first thing that I do is the same thing I do 365 days of the year. First thing I do is I make my bed. I get dressed, I make my bed, and I start my day. My mother instilled in me at a very young age for presentation. In other words, to try to look your best even when there's nothing special going on. Now, she didn't put a lot of emphasis on beauty and she didn't put a lot of emphasis on the materialistic side of just keeping yourself presentable. But she always said, as a mom and as a wife, to try to look your best. And that's what I try to do. Now it's time for laundry. I'm sorry it's a little dark. It's early in the morning. So I take a garden hose and it has water and we work on the laundry. <laughs> My mother was a very particular housekeeper, but my mother didn't homestead after I was born, so my mother didn't do any gardening or things like that. It's good about having clean presentation. In the beginning of my channel, I used to change my clothes all the time because I didn't want you seeing me dirty, but I realized we have to be realistic in life, and there's times in our lives that it is dirty, we get dirty and muddy, and I stopped doing that. So if there's a bark on my clothing or a smudge on my face, I allow you to see that because in life you have to be realistic because in life there are times where you don't always look your best. <laughs> I love my homemade soap. I just use a little bit of it. This is my homemade lavender laundry soap that I did a video on a couple weeks ago. It's my favorite. So I'll just wait here a few moments until my laundry is ready to turn it on. So the laundry started, now we can shut the door and we can get on to our other chores. The thing I like to do is I like to sweep off my porches and that's before I even clean the inside of my house. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to sweep off all of these porches. Right, the outside work is finished. Now we gotta start on the inside. Ooh, it's humid out here. Today we're gonna make a simple chicken and rice soup, but we're gonna use the crock pot. 
And one thing I really love about having a pantry is all of the items I can put in here. It didn't cost me hardly anything. So we're going to get started. We have some of my corn, which I have a video on. All of these items that you see canned, I have a video on, and I will share with you in the tag above, or I will share it with you at the end of the video. So we're not going to even drain the corn. We're going to use the liquid from the corn because the liquid has a lot of the nutrients in it. So we're going to use two pints of the corn, and we're going to start off with two quarts of chicken broth. Now this chicken broth, I got the chicken for 29 cents a pound. So basically this broth was just about free. Then I had some leftover carrots, which I showed in a video where I was canning them. We're just going to throw the carrots in. Because basically this soup is going to be a little bit of everything. Here is my 29 cents a pound chicken. I canned it and I froze it. So this is actually a frozen block of it. But that's fine because we're going to put it in the crock pot. Now we also have some rice that we also have some rice that is already cooked. We're not going to add that until this is about an hour in because we don't want to get the rice too mushy. So we're going to turn the crock pot on. I'm going to set it on high for about an hour and then we'll see what we need to do next. Alright, so I added a little bit of my garlic bread. The bread itself was only about 69 cents and then we added some garlic powder and some butter to it and some parsley and now our soup is complete. So this is the chicken and rice soup and look how good it looks and these are the carrots. So it only took a matter of just getting it into a good heat. Everything was pretty much canned and frozen. Put a little of my smoked salt on it. A little bit of pepper. And we got a very good and healthy meal. It didn't make a lot of heat in the kitchen because we used our crock pot. I hope you enjoyed a walk in my shoes today. And I hope you took something from this video. Even though my life is very ordinary, I try to show you how an ordinary life can be extraordinary just by the way you look at it. I'm working on the seeds that I saved from some of my flowers so I can plant them for next year. That's very ordinary, but the extraordinary thing is when you plant them, they turn into beautiful flowers. That's what I want to see in life. I want to see your life, ordinary, turned into extraordinary. Just by the everyday love of it all. We have hard days. We have days that are very disappointing in our lives. But remember, you're not alone. Brush it off and get up each day even if it is doing the same thing 365 days of the year. Take care everyone. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Friends, it's the end of another day on the homestead. And I wanted just to share with you just a video of walking in my shoes today. And I hope that you have been blessed and I hope that you have been encouraged by my videos.